you are. You gave us quite a scare. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. There has been some really, really cool new details about the game recently leaked by accident and I want to tell you guys about it and get into all that cool stuff. So stay tuned guys because I got a lot to discuss here and there are some really, really cool announcements made. So recently the ESRB ratings page and these are the guys that do the ratings for games. So basically they say what kind of gore is going to be in the games, what's to be expected, sexual reference, violences, stuff like that. All that cool de juicy details about the game can get early. And there was a Resident Evil 7 page up on their website recently and what this showed was some really 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 amazing things. So I got the information off of an article online and it starts off with this that several plot points and combat details from Resident Evil 7 Biohazard were revealed by the ESRB earlier today. In a listing that has since been removed from the ratings board website, among the information includes first confirmation of the game's protagonist, as well as hints at just how much violence players can expect from the M-rated survival horror game. So just to get into that guys, M rating is a mature rating and this obviously means the game must have a lot of violence and other things but I think we all knew that from a Resident Evil perspective so that isn't really much news. But getting into the actual juicy information. It continues to say, the listing whose details are preserved on sites like Gematsu and Warrior64's Twitter feeds, you guys can go visit those if you want to see this, state that a man named Ethan is the star of Resident Evil 7, in which he explores a derelict mansion in search of his wife. Now, as it says guys, the name will sound familiar to the viewers of the game's latest trailer, which is the Lantern trailer, where a woman is heard calling out to him. So we know the woman is actually called Mia as well, and that, as I said earlier in one of my videos, it sounded like she had a close relationship to Ethan kind of like in a marital or a partner relationship so it does seem like it's his wife now and it does seem like they were in some kind of accident or some kind of event that made them get split up but Ethan does seem to be fine and it does seem like that's the goal for Ethan now is to go and save his wife who is being hunted by Margaret Baker now it seems like Jack Baker is absent from what we've seen up to now whether something's happened to him or not I'm not sure but up to now it seems like Margaret Baker has kind of lost it and she's hunting for people such as Mia to take over and I don't know what she's trying to do with them but we also heard in more of a dialogue that there are unknowns around the mansion meaning that there is more characters than just Ethan and Mia themselves and I'm wondering who that could be or what that could be a reference to. So it goes further on guys and it has even more juicy details so going further on it says Ethan will be equipped with pistols, shotguns, flamethrowers, explosives and chainsaws to kill mutant creatures. So I just want to talk about that real quick. So we already know we've got pistols, shotguns, and flamethrowers, explosives, and chainsaws in the game, right? But that's actually really, really amazing because we thought that we were going to be kind of limited a little bit, maybe having just more basic weapons and stuff, but it looks like we're definitely going to get RPGs, we're going to get flamethrowers, but the chainsaws, guys, that was actually amazing because in one of my recent videos, I was asking for more melee action. And we had never seen a chainsaw in a Resident Evil game before used properly by the player and that would be fucking amazing to be able to just run around and just slice things up. Now I'm sure some of these things are going to be added probably towards the end of the game or maybe for replays but that's fucking amazing. So it continues to say that these contributors sound like what one is one of the greatest Resident Evil games. Chainsaws can be seen hacking off limbs and dismembering bodies are strewn around various areas. A shovel is also put to good use for the uh, ESRB notes with a character's face being impaled by one. So it goes on to say the summary also mentions a couple of scenes of pretty intense sounding graphic violence. These include dismemberment by chainsaw and shovel in addition to a shovel getting impaled through a character's face. Now holy shit guys, this shovel sounds like it's gonna be the fucking honor shovel. Like this, this is the fucking shovel the Master Chief would use apparently to like completely annihilate the Covenant. Like this fucking shovel right here, it is being used for so many things. There is obviously some kind of fucking golden thing to this shovel. It is the greatest shovel in existence. But on top of that, it says there are also areas including mangled corpses with guts hanging out, exposed to the whole world. On top of that, you'll be exposed to words such as fuck and shit. So get your earplugs ready if you want your ears debased. So it looks like a lot of cussing is going to be in the game, violence, which we already knew about. And it's going to be more gritty and more resource limited. But it does seem that we're still getting all of our cool weapons and, like we said, flamethrowers and RPGs and stuff. And we're not going to be left out on that. But like I said, I think this stuff will be 
probably more towards the end of the game for replays to be honest but anyway guys I just wanted to share that with you some really interesting leaked information and since it's been removed now I just wanted to get the word out there because you won't be able to find that anymore so anyway guys if you did enjoy this and you want more new information because I will be releasing Resident Evil 7 information whenever it comes out then just leave a like on this video guys and a subscribe and I would really appreciate that but anyway thank you very much for taking your time to watch and have a beautiful day.